Hey guys, so today I just really wanted to talk about my journey as to why I really started um, working out more and changing my lifestyle. Um, so the reason why um, is because I was having a lot of chest pain. Like I felt like I was having a heart attack. I felt like I just couldn't breathe. My stomach would be inflamed. I felt like I was getting stabbed with like knives and it was, it was just horrible. Like the pain was horrible. I had gastritis. My liver levels were high. Um, I had GERD. It was, it, it was just all bad. So I really had GERD. I really had to like uh, change the way that I was eating and what I was putting into my body. Like it really first started about like, was it two two years ago it really started um i was just laying in bed and for some reason my stomach just really really started hurting like i i felt like i was having a heart attack so i had ran down to my parents room um i was living with them at the time and i just they had to my mom had to take me to the hospital and this pain it was just horrible like i could not deal with the pain it was just so bad like my stomach hurt so bad. It was like the worst pain ever. Like I have a daughter, she's one and labor compared to that, I I just, I couldn't do it. So then that's when I kind of like afterwards, I took my medicine, they gave me something to like kind of um, cool, you know, the inflammation. So then I kind of was like, okay, I need to like eat healthier. So I was getting back on my health kick. And then um, the year after that in 20... What is it? Yeah, about like, yeah. Well, yeah, still within 2018. I, um, what was it? I, um, went to the doctors and they diagnosed me with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. And when I was just doing my research, like it says that it's like a woman infertility to where like there's like a low percentage that she would have any kids on it. I mean, I just, I knew I always wanted to be a mom and I just couldn't really like fathom, you know, not being able to have children. So, um, and they said that it causes like a lot of miscarriages and everything. So I, I was like, I want to be a mom. So I know I have to like change the way I'm eating. I, I, I just knew that later on in my life, like I wanted to be a mom. So, um, in the beginning of 2018, like I really started like just, you know, eating a little bit healthier, but not taking it as serious as I am now. Um, so I started eating better. And then in April, found out I was pregnant with my little girl. And um, during my pregnancy, I did ha I didn't have too many complications, but my chest was hurting again. And um, I would still have like that stomach pain, but it wasn't too bad as it was before. So I um, was having bad chest pain. I went to the hospital and I was like a few weeks pregnant and um, they gave me some medicine for it. So that was fine. And then later on in my pregnancy, I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes. So I had to change the way I was eating and doing a gestational diabetes diet. So I was doing that. And um, when I was doing it, I felt like I was feeling a little bit better. So I um, wanted to stick to it after I was pregnant. So I, um, after my pregnancy, my baby was fine. Her sugar levels were great. Like I knew what I had to do to keep her healthy. So she was perfectly fine. And then, uh, what was it? About a few weeks after giving birth, I had another episode. My stomach was inflamed again. My chest was hurting. It was, it felt like I, I couldn't breathe. I was caving in. I, I just, I couldn't do it. The pain was horrific. I had um, got my mom and dad called the ambulance. They came to get me and I had to leave my baby girl. Like I was literally nursing her and I just felt the stomach pain, the chest pain come along and I had to leave her. I had to tell her dad, I'm like, listen, you have to take her. I have to leave. So the ambulance, I came to get me and they took me down to the hospital again and um, hooked up like EKG and everything. And that's when they said like I have, um, it was another thing that I had. But it had to do with my intestines, though, being inflamed. My liver levels were high and just the chest pain, like tightening again, just feeling like I just couldn't breathe. I couldn't take it no more. 
So that was back in early of um, 2019 because she was born in December. So yeah, like early 19, that's when it happened. And then I, because um, I was breastfeeding her, so I did lose some weight. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm good. So then um, afterwards, I I was eating healthier, but then I went back again on my bad track, eating bad. So then finally, um, you know, the days are going by. I hit November of 2019. And earlier that month, I had another episode. Horrible. So, again, stomach hurting, chest tightening up, stomach, just chest pain, feeling like I'm really about to have a heart attack. This time, I'm like, listen, God, just take me. I was like, if if this, if you, if you're going to take me, just take me now. Like, I couldn't bear it. Like, my mom, she sat there while I was just, like, laying on the couch, my stomach bent over, holding my stomach chest tightening just it was horrible pain like I couldn't take it no more so I guess third time is the charm like listen you need to really get yourself together or you're not going to be here for your daughter you're not going to be here you're going to be gone and you're 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 not thinking about anybody else but yourself because you want to sit here and put the wrong things in your body and I had to realize that that I need to better myself and take care of myself even though I'm a mom, doesn't mean that you have to sit here and grab whatever you can and just put it in your mouth. Like, I had to really think about what I want to do and how I need to be here for her. I want to see her grow up. I want to see her go to kindergarten, go graduate, prom, like everything. I want to see that for her. And I knew that if I kept on going down the road that I was going down with my health, that that would probably hurt me. It would kill me first. Like, I just couldn't do it no more. And I can't do it. So now... In November, I was like, okay, so I went, I received like a, a coupon to my local gym and um, it was just like a little free pass. So I was like, okay, so I went there, I walked on a treadmill like I normally did and right there, like I had like just a thought like you can do this no matter what you're going through, you can do it, just, just do it. Like don't be afraid to. And before when I was on my health journeys, all I would do is just walk, like just walk on a treadmill. And it was boring. Like, I gained, honestly, like, this past year has been, like, the highest weight that I've been. I was at 260. Right now, I am at 221. And it was just horrible. Like, I just can't do it no more. So, when I, like, really just thought about, like, my life, like, why am I doing it? Like, you have to think why you want to take this this change in your life. Like, why? Like, what's making you want to get healthier? What's making you want to just make a lifestyle change? Like, what are you doing? Like, what do you want to do? So, I found the answer. I just, I didn't want to have that stomach pain. I didn't want to have that chest pain. I wanted to just feel good. I want to play with my daughter. I can't wait till she gets older and just play with her. And we run around and we have like little, you know, competitions running and stuff and working out together. Like I want that for, with my daughter. So I, um, once I got done working out at my gym, I was like, I want to sign up and I want a personal trainer. So we went through the personal trainer process, which I had to be in a contract for three months. So, which I knew if I had to be in a contract, then that means that I would have to stick to it. And I was reading where it says that it takes 30 days to break a bad habit. So, I knew that if I seen my personal trainer every single week for a month, I knew that I can do it the next month and the next month. So, I did. So, I uh, went to my trainer and I just kept on going and it was hard at first. It was hard. I could barely breathe. Like I could barely breathe and I just felt like my chest was caving in, but I kept pushing. And as the weeks went by and I kept working out, then that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna take some classes. I'm gonna, I started out going like once a week, meet with my personal trainer. Then a couple weeks later, I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a class. So I took like Zumba. I did like all their fitness classes and I was like, okay, so let's speed up, you know, how many times I work out so it went from like one day to three days to four to now like five days until I'm to the point where I'm like I can be sitting there like finish everything and I just be sitting I'm like mm, I want to work out like I want to go to the gym and now we're in self we're being quarantined so it's like can't go to the gym but I'm still like I'm gonna work out like I, I want to work out so in November, I um, started that journey, um, well, started this journey that I'm on now, and 
like at first in november december like i was still kind of eating bad but it wasn't too bad i was cutting out a lot of stuff the first thing that went was like red meat and then after that i cut slowly cut my carbs down because with being with having pcos you are insulin resistant so you know you do have like that hormonal hormonal belly and it's just a lot like there's a lot that goes on with it. So, um, November, December, I was still kind of eating just a little bit bad, but not too much to where I was having stomach pain. So then January 1st came around. I was still, no, I was 259. Yeah, I was 259 January 1st. And I was like, all right, that's it. I was like, I'm not budging. I was like, I know my body fat percentage is going down a little bit, but my weight isn't dropping. So I said, okay, I'm done. So January 1st, um, completely cut out red meat. I do not eat bread at all. Um, rice, I substituted for brown rice or quinoa or couscous. I do not eat any fried food. I finally found a way where I can make, um, if I want some chicken wings, I found out a better way to make it. So I definitely, um, feel that there are alternate things that you can do. So I, I did find, um, different ways to make my food and I do not cook like, well, I'm not going to say I don't cook, but I'm not a really good cook, but I am learning. I am learning. I can say that. So, um, that's when I just realized that this is what I want to do. Like I feel healthier. I actually can run for like a, a few extra minutes than what I could run before without getting out of breath. So I feel like this journey has just, even the beginning of it, I'm not done. I'm doing my 90 day challenge starting tomorrow. So I just, I feel like I'm so happy. I'm so happy because honestly, like, I feel like I came a long way. Like I came a long way from all the stomach pains, all the chest pains just like basically killing myself inside because I wanted to eat like you don't understand how happy I am like when I seen when I stepped on that scale about a week ago and I was down to 228 I was crying like I was crying because I never thought that I can get back down to that weight like there's been so many times I cried working out, like even in group classes, dancing, like dance fitness classes. Like I cry because it's like, I can do this. Like, I know I can do this. If you put your mind to it and you want something, you can do it. And no matter how long it takes you, everybody is on their own path. Like everyone is on their own path. So you can do it no matter what. Like, don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't. And I just want you to follow my journey and just, I I want to do everything. Like just follow my journey, stay with me through this process. I want to be an inspiration to somebody, to somebody at all. Like it doesn't matter. Like if you think that you can't do it, just know that you can. I know that I look, sometimes it was hard for me to get up and get the courage to like speak out and just tell my story. But honestly, you can do anything that you put your mind to. And I don't mind like helping anybody out. Like if you have questions of what I do, like I will let you know. Like I don't have a problem explaining anything to you. Just follow me on this journey. Um, I am starting a YouTube channel of my fitness journey and just different products that I use and like doing different like grocery hauls and everything. So just look out for that content. But I just wanted to say like you have to really think about why you're making this change. And you're going to feel like the best person ever, like the best version of yourself that you were the day before, the day before that. So I just want to um, let you know that keep going no matter what it is. Don't give up. Don't stop. And you will get through this. But I just want to say I love you all and I thank you all for your support and just follow me on this journey. Um, again, I will be doing different content, just trying to get everything up and running. But I just thank you all. I love you guys and happy Sunday and have a blessed day. Bye.